Hello everyone, this is the Introverted Positron, and welcome back to Time to Try, currently featuring Dark Souls. So, you're not imagining things. You haven't accidentally picked the wrong episode. Um, if you've been watching to episode 27, this is episode 27. Um, I restarted the game. Um, I wasn't very happy with my character at that point. Um, I'm not unhappy with the game or the fact that I did it the way I did it, because it gave me a chance to understand the game more on a different kind of level and I shouldn't say that in that way I'm not any better than people who have looked it up and worked from there in terms of understanding the game but I understand a little bit more about my own learning process and the uh, limitations that that has in this game um, there are bits and pieces I could have learned on my own um, or if I thought through some things I probably would have realized a thing or two but ultimately I'm here now um, I'm just going to show you one thing uh, before I'm going to continue my playthrough and just make it back to the point where I stopped before. Um, and that is, I'm going to defeat the Tauros Demon fair and square. No jumping off cliffs, no losing souls that I would want from this battle. This one is just going to be an attempt. I've already tried this a few times. I came really close twice. Um, I know when to keep my distance, when to be close. Um, roughly speaking, anyway. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to have fun with it. Ultimately, this will be the focus of the episode, will be this. Um, if I lose this, then I'll come back and I'll use a Homeward Bone to get back to the bonfire um, in the Boster because I have some souls in there already. Just so I can use that experience to just become more powerful quickly and then pummel them with absolutely no uh, no issues. <laughs> Actually, I'm wrong. I don't have any souls left in there. Um, I lost this by accident. That's okay. Um, ultimately, I'm just going to do this once here. Um, I'll talk on my way back here with the, to co go back with the Homeward Bone. Just because uh, I do have some explaining to do in regards to what I now know about the game. Don't worry, it's not any plot details. It's not any strategies in beating bosses. It's just a little bit about stats and weapons. Uh, for the most part. And also just about making sure I conserve my souls and humanity in different ways. Although, that part I figured on my own. Anyway, let's go into this. We'll see if it works. I'll if I win this time, then I'll I'll put that part of the commentary afterwards. I guess we'll see what happens. I highly doubt that I'm gonna win this in my first shot, but you never know. I came closest to my first shot last time, and I don't mean on my last playthrough. I mean um, my first shot because I took a break after I was having some trouble here. Um, a very short one, but a break nonetheless. Um. I also kindled the fire leading up to here, so I have 10 acid flasks instead of 5. Also very helpful, means that I can, I don't want to be ruthless in this battle, but I do want to, uh, I don't want to take any chances either. I mean, I don't want to take any chances, but at the same time it's good to know that I have some wiggle room in terms of my acid flasks. That was a good start. Okay. See? It's not that hard. That hurt just a little bit. Yeah, basically, if you stick really close most of the time, you're fine. Um, then it's just conserving your energy. He gets stunned every now and then. Um, I now want to run away. Just because. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't want to die. Dying would not be my first goal on my list. There we go. Now I move in. Dodge that. Attack, attack, attack. Attack, attack, attack. I might win this. Might. I do not have my hopes up currently. I... Okay, that sucks. <laughs> I'll power up anyway. Um, <laughs> just so that, that doesn't happen again. I was so close. Um, I got a little too cocky there. It's alright, as long as I don't die on the way there, then there's... I'll use a homeward bone. Use up all those souls. I have like 4,000. I'm not that high leveled yet. So that will have uh, quite an effect, I think. I don't know why they're just trying to do there. Anyway, so what I've learned is how stat distribution works in this game is you have strength, dexterity, intelligence, and faith. 
All of which are stats that have to do with your sort of weapon affinity. Both determining what weapons you can use and how well you can use them. Um, as you might have noticed, and I couldn't figure out what this meant earlier, I thought it had something to do with me, not the weapon, is that weapons have these letter rankings on them, E, D, A, C, this one has C on both, um, the, the, the symbol for strength and dexterity for instance. What that means is it's a scaling factor, so every um, stat boost I put into those categories has an effect on my use of the weapon. So in this case, the higher my strength or dexterity, I'm not sure if it's and or, I don't know that far, uh, the better I'll be able to use the weapon. And then there's also things like stat requirements, like needing 26 strength in order to use the, uh, was it 26 or 24? I can't remember. But needing um, a pretty large n number in terms of my strength in order to wield the, the Grave Lord Sword. Um, and those I need to fulfill in order to use a weapon effectively at all. Um, so knowing that, it's actually better to go for builds to use specific kinds of weapons. So in my case, I'm going for a dexterity build because it allows me to use more long distance weapons. I've gotten better at this game, but I still have troubles and having the advantage of being able to attack certain enemies from distance is something I will gladly take. Um, in terms of my old file, it's actually not, um, like I could save myself from where I was. It's just, it would take a lot of effort that I don't really want to put into it. Um, just on my first play through this game. I want to have fun with it. I want to be happier with my character. I might go back to it as a challenge at some point. One that you won't unfortunately, that you will unfortunately not see, but that will show how much my skill in this game has improved. Although I think the fact that I'm a low level right now, and I almost killed the Taurus Demon, is also a pretty good indication of my skill level at this point, which is much better than it was the first time. Still not great, because I'm still dying to it. But still, I'm doing much better. Um, anyhow, it's just stuff like that. The other thing is, on my other playthrough, I lost lots of souls, both from bosses and from, you know, various attempts at areas. Um, and I just didn't feel good about that. That and the... Oh, I did not realize he followed me up here. He was not supposed to do that. Um, <laughs> that and the fire keeper souls were something I really kind of messed up. Um, and again, it wasn't... Like, as far as I can tell, I wasn't in a place where I couldn't beat the game with the way things currently were going. It just would have been very uh, difficult for me to do it from there. So, um, what I have done also is I've also... So, basically, that's that's it there. Um, the other thing is that I've written down all the soft caps for stats. So, now I know how far I need to upgrade my stat um, before they stop being effective in terms of upgrading. Or at least as effective. And so eventually, ideally, if I were to uh, complete my stats, I would um, I would only go to the soft caps and stop there for everything. Um, and I have them all recorded. There's some weird stuff with dexterity where if you have it at 40, that's essentially the soft cap of your stat. But having a 45 actually increases your spell um, casting speed, which is useful to an extent depending on how much you use spells. But anyway, outside of those stats, I also have vitality, endurance, um, and uh, attunement, I believe is the other one. I think that's it. Um, and that's, those are the things I want to put up. Attunement will allow me to equip more spells, use more spells, stuff like that. Um, and the other two are kind of self-explanatory, and I was, and I, they were basically what I thought they were, essentially. And that's not a very nice spot. Um, but yeah. Um, I didn't focus enough on those before. I was too, uh, my stats were way too spread out. Um, I needed to focus on those stats. No more than two of the attacks. Um, achievement, I won't focus all that much on, although I'll have a little bit up. Oh, endurance. Endurance, vitality. Oh, yeah, endurance. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, now I understand all this. So this should improve my game, my gameplay quite a bit. Um, but you're not going to see anything past this Tauros Demon fight. Um, and I think that's the bulk of my explanation. Um, it explains why I'm here, what I'm planning on doing, and all that fun stuff. Okay, now run, run, run! Okay. 
So I'll meet you back at the Taurus Demon. I'm just gonna um, upgrade some stuff. I have lots of souls now, so I can go up quite a few levels. Um, specifically, let's see. Uh, mostly dexterity, actually, is what I want. Because that will increase my efficiency with this weapon. Um, and then it's also going to be vitality and endurance are going to be my big ones for the moment. Um, once dexterity, like, I'll leave strength at 16 for now. I'll probably have it about 20. Uh, once I'm happy with it. Um, I won't be going straight for that. Dexterity will be my, mo my main focus from now on. Um, and that's pretty much where it's going to be. Um, I still don't require very many souls in order to upgrade. So that's good. <laughs> but yeah. That's it. So I'll meet you guys right back at the uh, Taurus Demon. I imagine I'll probably beat it on my next shot. I'll be right back. Alright, and we're back. I don't think that this will be... 
Yeah, okay, I just managed to stun it, but it got me too. Hehe. <laughs> okay, this is not a good place to be standing. At least, I don't think it is. Okay. Ow. No! Okay, it's temporarily... Okay. Although, I do not want to be standing that close to the edge just because I don't want the same thing to happen as happened last time to happen again. Because that would just suck. Okay, this is actually going worse. I still don't 100% understand this boss battle, apparently. Oh, now I get it. Okay, get away. Recharge. Yeah. See, it's like he has specific attacks. Like, very specific attacks. All of which have their own, like, points in which I cannot be hit. Perfect. Let it recharge a bit. Okay, I just have to hit him one more time. Yes! I did it! Oh, much better. And I got a homeward bone. Oh, he actually doesn't give me any... S oh, I take it all back. <laughs> totally worth it. Okay, so that's good. Um, before I go, um, thank you for anybody who stuck with me through this playthrough. I know it can be frustrating watching someone play something that you know if you know it, or not being good at it in general. Uh, the whole point of doing this Let's Play and it being my first Let's Play that I started was that it kind of gives the impression that I'm not good at it. And I don't mean that as in I'm trying to do something stupid like set standards low or anything like that. That's just dumb. Um, but I am, in fact, fairly good at video games. I wouldn't call myself excellent. I wouldn't call myself bad either. Um, but playing this meant that I could show people what I'm like when I face a challenge. Uh, sometimes I get frustrated, but usually I keep a cool head and I stay collected. Um, and as much as that doesn't mean that much to most people, it does mean that um, I show what it's like to think through the situation rather than have to retract from the situation first in order to get a hold of it. And sometimes I still do that because sometimes being away from a challenge like this is very a very good idea in general. Um, but in this case, I think I understand it well enough to not have to do that. Um, for the most part, anyway. But yeah, that's, I think, everything I really wanted to talk about. So this is a great place to end it. Hopefully I won't lose all these souls. Um, if I do, I will be very angry. <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, basically whatever you want. Remember that constructive criticism is always welcome here. It improves the quality of my videos and hopefully improves the quality the, uh, of your enjoyment as well. So thank you again. Have a great day. And I'll see all of you very very soon.